uh, we are going to do what is necessary to protect Americans. Uh, and so if we see plotting against Americans, we see uh, a threat uh, to the United States emanating from anywhere, we stand ready to take action uh, against that threat. Uh, we've made very clear time and again that uh, if you come after Americans, we're going to come after you wherever you are. When you see somebody um, killed in such a horrific way, that represents a terrorist attack. That represents a terrorist attack um, against our country and against an American citizen. Uh, and I think all of us um, have the Foley family in our, our thoughts and prayers. Um, the fact of the matter is that we've actually seen you know, ISIL um, seek to advance too close to our facilities, uh, certainly for our own comfort. Uh, and so the President's decision to take military action uh, a number of weeks ago was out of direct concern that if they were able to get into Erbil, uh, that they could pose a threat um, to our personnel and our consulate there. Our hearts go out to uh, Mr. Foley and the entire Foley family. Uh, I cannot imagine how it must feel uh, to lose a loved one and to lose a loved one in such a, a horrible way. Um, and I certainly understand that any family uh, would want to make sure that we are moving heaven and earth uh, to find uh, and bring home uh, American hostages. Uh, I can assure you uh, that we have done everything that we can possibly do uh, to try uh, to bring home our hostages. It's an incredibly difficult circumstance in a place like Syria, um, uh, again, where you have uh, such a violent conflict raging. Uh, but we've used all of our military, intelligence, diplomatic, resources that we can bring to bear uh, to try to pull a thread to find out where our hostages are, uh, to try to rescue them when we saw an opportunity, to try to work with any country that might have any means of locating them. Uh, and tragically, we weren't able um, uh, to rescue Mr. Foley. But we're going to keep trying for all of our hostages, not just in Syria, but around the world. We don't want to put out a specific number, uh, again, out of respect for the fact that uh, there are sensitivities involved with that. Um, but, you know, this is a small number of hostages who are held within uh, Syria, um, and we're going to continue to do whatever we can uh, to try to bring them home. Uh, every day that they're in custody there uh, is a day that they're at risk. It's a matter of policy. Uh, we do not provide ransom or any funding for terrorist organizations. We feel very strongly uh, that it is not the right policy for governments to support the payment of ransom uh, to terrorist organizations. In the long run, what that does is it provides additional funding to these terrorist organizations, uh, which allows them to expand their operations. It incentivizes uh, the kidnapping uh, of foreigners. 